2016 have scored 32 goals. Timing is everything and Rangers aren't happy at the recovery time they've been given after sweating it out in Athens on Wednesday. From touchdown to title showdown, little more than 48 hours. Mind you, Celtic were in a similar situation in April after playing their UEFA Cup semi-final against Boa Vista. They came here and won. Sunshine on a Saturday lunchtime at Ibrox for the first Old Firm match of the season. Who will strike the first psychological blow in the battle of the big two? It matters much, although don't forget, Celtic had the upper hand in the fixture last season. Rangers won the league. It's always a tight game, Rob, but the one thing that amazes me, and never fails to amaze me, is the atmosphere inside the Old Firm grounds on, on match day. It's absolutely fantastic. The players out there must be relishing the atmosphere, the stage to perform on. You've sampled it, of course. What did it do for you? Oh, it was magnificent, Rob. Kiznishvili gets it back from Avladze. Mikel Arteta, six goals in his first six games this season. Capucho. Michael Moles. Plenty passes. Avladza into Capucho. Michael Moles tries to find room for the shots. Crowded out, beaten by Varga in the end. Good play from Trigmore. Mateta. Looking at ways of opening up Celtic. Right on the touchline, Peter Lovenkratz. Emerson. Ball. Ted Rob Rangers have started the game really well. Passing the ball, lots of confidence. Trying to lift the pace of the game as well. Balls against Varga. Good run from Michael Paul. Good pull in as well. And Chris Sutton at full stretch. That's good defending from Sutton. After a terrific ball hooked in by Michael Bolt. John Hartson given offside. Just offside, John Hartson. I bet you right now you've seen the Alan Thompson play the ball a little bit earlier. But that man there, Chris Sutton, what a great interception this is. No. Yeah, have you seen it now? And, uh, well, just looking at Celtic shape, and as we thought might happen, Didier Gall looks like a right-back. He's playing there, and Jackie McNamara's playing left-back, Rob. Celtic have obviously prepared that way. I'm just watching the Rangers lining up, line up that's maybe forcing Celtic into that back four. Adelaide is playing just off the front. Capuccio certainly wide in the right, Lovenkrantz wide in the left. Adelaide is the one that's causing them just a little bit of a problem, drop off the front. You never quite know until we get started exactly how the two teams will line up. It depends, of course, on who has the initiative, who's dictating the play. It's Rangers so far with 20 possession. Mikel Arteta scored in his first old for a match. Michael Ball rolls it in for a shot at Avaladze. Well won by Neil Lennon. Now Celtic looking to get on the ball, play some passes. Liam Miller wins a free kick. Clumsy challenge from Peter Lohenkrantz. I think you would describe that as a forwards challenge. Lohenkrantz has absolutely no chance of hitting the ball here. Young Liam Miller does very well, cuts across the front of the player. And pays not to make the challenge, giving away the free kick. Sutton's free kick. Hartson against Moore, Rangers free kick. John Hartson looking for his 50th Celtic goal, looking for his first of the season. A strong play from Chris Sutton against Michael Moles. You need to be strong to shift the Dutchman off the ball. Sutton succeeded. He does very well, Chris Sutton. 
There's own versat some versatile as we said before, but Michael Moses, I mean, that was in player back to goal. Went to the start of the game, looking to play the ball into Moses' feet, into the lads' feet, to try to draw out the big centre backs. Moore's header, and Emerson, the back heel from Avalanta. And Emerson followed by Miller. No question, it's a free kick. Emerson using his body strength really well. It's a bad turn the back as much as anything else here from young Neil Murray. Oh, a lot of enthusiastic to see those. If you're looking for a time on the ball in the opening minutes of an old firm match, good luck. Rangers with seven out of seven in the league so far. They've scored 26 goals in the process. In fact, three goals or more for the Ibrox team in every league game this season. Good play from Petrov, snapping in very quickly in his challenge on Emerson. Petrov already heading for Euro 2004 with uh, Bulgaria having booked their place. That's fantastic play from Michael Moles. Four Celtic players around him. Still he came out on top. Remarkable. He's Nisvili, really. Arteta, Emerson. It's well won by Miller. John Hudson slipped at the crucial moment. Crunching challenge by Alan Thompson. It's another free kick. Nate Massoul. Well, look at this. It's great strength apart from anything else. I think Mike McCurry is ready to give a free kick roll, but plays on. Just lets it develop to see if Michael Moles holds onto the ball. But what skill, what strength. Mateta's pass picks out Logan Crutch. Back with the. Spanish under 21 skipper and a ball. Again, losing his footing. Not the first. Michael Ball supporting Peter Lovenkrantz. Prods the pass to Moles. Varga's challenge was enough as Rangers threatened again. Rangers up and passing the ball really well. Lots of confidence. Great play down the left hand side from Ball and Lovenkrantz. And Michael Moles, what's his turn again? Fabulous feet. Just a lot of bad and just lost the ball at the end. A couple of Celtic players have slipped, Hudson and the Gats, but uh, Michael Moles certainly got plenty of grip. Avalanza to Capuccio. Good backing up of McNamara there by Thompson. John Hudson tries to keep it, and fails against Henningberg. And into a gut. Miller. Shot its first real chance to get into the final third. Could Moore strong enough? Certainly haven't passed the ball as well as Rangers nearly part of the game, Rob. Maybe the, the, the fact that the majority of the crowd obviously is in Rangers' favour. The fans getting right behind their team. And we've got lots to be encouraged about the way they're starting the match. Celtic haven't passed the ball because they haven't really had the ball. Another free kick on uh, Michael Moles, Chris Sun. Just a, that's just a little con card again. Michael Moles has caused them problems. He's just saying, you're not going to get away with that the whole game. Alec McLeish making his first venture up to the touchline, getting as close as he could. Alan Kratz. Forced in fields, linking with Arvalata, that's great skill. Pass deflected off Lennon, Varga has it, and now a gap. Three old firm debutants for Celtic, Hedman, Varga and Miller, that's offside. Four new boys for Rangers in terms of this fixture, Berg, Kiznashvili, Emerson and Capuccio. Now, what was Alec McLeish ranting and raving about? In fact, back out he comes again. Let's hear from Chick. He's insisted, Rob, that uh, Rangers take these three quick kicks quickly. He wants the pressure put on Celtic immediately. Keep the ball moving. Again, he's having a go at the moment. 
It's uh, Robin Kranz. He's going to call Robin Kranz a call a, a cross action, but one with him. It's about speeding up the play. It's been quick passes from Rangers, and he wants to keep that going. That's the message at the moment, just being passed there to be a Robin Kranz. You can see that. Now that McLeish retreating, and he just wants this more taste injected into Rangers play. Peter Robin Kranz well within earshot for Alec McLeish. A stumble from a gap. Sutton clears. Watched all the way by Craig Moore. In goes Henrik Larsson. John Hartson waiting. Thompson as well. It's Alan Thompson! Saved by Stefan Klaas. Thompson could have scored the old front opening goal. It's a magnificent save from Stefan Klaas, but I tell you what, Alan McLeish will not be happy with his captain, Craig Moore. Craig Moore taking liberties against Larsson. And that doesn't often pay off. It's amazing, Rob Rangers have played all the football so far in the game, and that's the best opportunity in the, the match. Almost the classic sucker punch. And Alan Thompson will feel he should have done a lot better when that ball was cut back to him by Larson. It was a very strong opportunity for Thompson. He scored his sixth goal of the season, Stefan Kloss was in the way. It's great play here from Henrik Larson. We were dwelling on the ball, Larson picked up. I thought he was going to have a go at goal, but he sees Thompson supporting him, gets there, 14, 15 yards out, gets the shot on target. But Stefan Kloss does everything right, gets across the block. It. And Martin O'Neill was poised, he was ready to go. Seventy thirty. Possession in Rangers' favour, having watched the opening 11 and a half minutes, that figure not too surprising. No, as we said before, Rangers have played really well. Lots of confidence, lots of pace in the game. And the, the, the front two are causing lots of problems. Moles right up front, taking the ball in really well, and Arvalanti just dropping off that little bit. Varga, not too sure whether to come with him and pass him on to the midfield player. Jackie McNamara, the Celtic captain, over the top for Henrik Larsson. And there, blocked the cross. On Thompson's delivery, Craig Moore got there as Liam Miller moved in menacingly. Petrov looking for a free kick. He'll have to look again. Good challenge by Arteta. Petrov still down. Poor pass from Lovenkrantz. Drove it straight at Neil Lennon. And Alan Thompson knocks the ball out of play so the Celtic can get some attention for the grounded Petrov. He's calm and uh, just on his cheekbone with his elbow there. Well, I don't think it was deliberate, I think it was his momentum trying to win the ball, and this looks a shoulder challenge. He certainly caught uh, Stanley Petrov that time. Mikel Arteta certainly has added to the physical side of his play this season, he needed to. He needs that uh, grit and determination in the central midfield position to go with his undoubted skills and his passing ability and he has been a key player for Rangers so far this season but uh, Petrov is not a big fan of his at the moment I don't think no, after I think that I think he's going for the ball Rob but it's, uh, Petrov doesn't see him coming that's the problem that's why he's caught there but just as you say about Mikel Arteta everyone realises the talent he has as a footballer but it's when you don't have the ball you have to work hard as well and he's learned that part of his game well, we've uh, put some words in Alec McLeish's mouth. What's Martin O'Neill been up to? He's used this uh, injury time just to have a, look, a word or two with Liam Miller. Maybe it's just talking about his early involvement in the game. A big occasion for young Miller, his old film debut. First uh, quarter, an hour or so, played 13 minutes. He's using a word with him, telling him to calm down a little bit, get himself involved, presumably, and stamp his all undoubted talent in this match. Certainly Liam Miller's fifth start of the season in the midfield, which also includes Stylian Petrov, or will do in a moment when he gets back on. He's still looking a bit groggy, having been caught by the elbow of Arteta. He's only scored once this season, Stylian Petrov, and by his standards, that's a poor return. Craig Moore won the header. Miller to Petrov. The Rangers fans unsympathetic. <laughs> Would you expect anything different? <laughs> no. 
Well, just looking, I'm just wondering, uh, Chick was saying it there about Martin O'Neill talking to his midfield players. The one thing Celtic have to do when they get the ball now in the middle of the park, they should have three against two, the way the Rangers system set up. But we really haven't seen Lennon, Petrov, or young Liam Muller take control of that area. A gas throw went straight to Michael Ball, but John Hudson did well to nip in front of the English international defender. Alan Thompson, always a key player in this match. Peter Lovenkrantz misjudged the cross, it fell for Hartson, but Emerson cleared. It's uh, an intriguing head-to-head, -head, this one, between Moles and Sutton, and you wonder how far away is a yellow card. I think it's helping though, Rob. Michael Moles is doing the, the, the striker job really well there, getting to the ball first, not allowing the defender to get around him to clear the danger. And again, he's forced Sutton into giving away the free kick. But you're right what you say, Mike McCurry can't want that going forever. You expect goals in this match with 63 already scored by these two between them. 13 matches for Celtic, 11 for Rangers. Both unbeaten in domestic football. And both doing their reputations no harm at all in the Champions League. Katusho, Kiznishvili, Emerson. The disguised reverse pass, but Jackie McNamara saw it coming. Thompson quickly in. Well, Thompson with uh, the best chance so far to open the scoring. That's Stan Varga. And a Celtic free kick is given against Capuccio. Don't think he agrees. No, no, Mr. McCurry, you got it wrong. <laughs> or what's that effect? Here's the man of the match telephone number for you again. 010861. Man of the match top. Back to Scotland family match day. Digital radio, there's the prizes. Hartson's flick. Petrov, good strike. We've got a lot behind this. It's a decent shot, Rob. Again, we see Celtic haven't had too much of the ball, but whenever they go forward, they look dangerous. And Petrov getting two or three yards of space in that midfield area. Just can't get it down, can't keep it on target. But there's no question Celtic, well, they haven't played too well so far. They are a threat in that last third of the field. Liam Miller trying to get the ball down. Good pressure from Arteta. Now Moles. It's wrestled back from him by Petrov. Miller slipped. Lovenkrantz beaten by Agat. That's good defending from Didier Agat in the unaccustomed position of right fullback. Michael Ball can give this some distance. Arvaladze there. Petrov won the header. Off Neil Lennon. Miller stops it going behind. Kept in by Arvaladze. Kept in for Larson. It's great work from Mikel Arteta. Terrific anticipation and reading of the game. And strong enough to win it back from Larson. Kisnes really to Moles. Emerson! Deflected for a corner. That's a magnificent play from Rangers. From Marteta winning the ball to Emerson. Great skill, great passing. What is Leo from Michael Moles? I don't think it's on target, but Chris Sun doesn't know that. Scored his first Rangers goal in Greece in midweek. And that was threatening. Teta's corner, not the best, but he gets a second chance. Better this time for Berg, Lennon's header, and Magnus Hedman grabs it under the crossbar, under a fair bit of pressure from Capuccio. 
The first ball wasn't too good, but this is a better cross from Arteta. Right into the danger area, allowing the big guys to attack the ball. But I think if that goes in, referee Mike McCurry may have awarded a free kick. Berg back in his defensive role, heads it clear. Disney Exactly the same Rangers team as started against Panathinaikos. And so close they were to getting a famous victory in Greece. A one-all draw was far from failure. And Rangers in a strong position, four points from two games. The start of their Champions League campaign. Celtic having beaten Lyon on Tuesday night as well. Mikel Arteta heavily involved in the opening salvos. Craig Moore, the Rangers captain. Michael Moles had to go some to get there. Time for Varga. And then Thompson put under pressure by Kisnes Philly and by Avalanta. Then into Larson. Good defending from Zura Kiznisvili. Successes for Rangers all around the pitch in these opening stages. Good right work by winning the 50-50s. Celtic can't keep the ball. They can't get a combination of passes to take the pressure off the, the defenders. A darting run from Peter Lovinkrantz, luring Liam Miller into the challenge. It's a free kick and it's a word in the ear of the 22-year-old Irish midfielder. It's good play from Wombing fans, deciding this time I'm going to go in the way, away from a gap. He's certainly got the pace to take young Liam Miller. He just catches him at the end there. Craig Moore and Henning Berg both up alongside Capuccio and Moles and Lovenkratz. And a shot at Abeladze in there as well. Everyone back for Celtic. Arteta's delivery, Berg tried to put his head to it. Now it's Capuccio. Emerson. To Arteta. Mikel Arteta settled for the corner. Off Miller. Has to play well from Arteta and Emerson before that. Arteta knew he's out, what he was looking for there. You couldn't get the ball in, so I'll just win a corner kick. Avalanza making the run at the near post. It's hit to the back post. Well, Magnus Hedman came for it and didn't really get near it, but uh, let's go down to the touchline and check. Yeah, I think Celtic have a major problem with Alan Thompson. He just signalled across to the bench that he's done. I think he's going to be changed. There's a little powwow in the, in the Celtic dugout at the moment, what to do, but there's certainly a problem with Alan Thompson. We'll just see what evolves over the next few seconds, Rob. So, Michael Gray is getting ready for action. And what a big moment it's going to be for the on-loan Sunderland left-back, who, of course, can play just about any position down the left side. I think you'll find Rob, he'll, he'll come on and play left back and Jackie McNamara will push out in the middle of the park. More on Alan Thompson, Chick? Yeah, it's a calf problem. They got the, the substitution you talked about will happen. It's great coming on for his debut. And I hope for him debut anyway. So Celtic will be forced to reshuffle midway through the first half of the first old third match of the season. That's good play from Agat. And Celtic will want to make the change now. And it's a big blow to lose Alan Thompson, so influential in the history of this old firm fixture, the recent history. A goal scorer, a goal maker, and always with a big say in how it goes against Rangers. But he's off, and Michael Gray, having featured only very briefly for Celtic in his lone spell from Sunderland played the final 15 minutes against Motherwell and he's into the hustle and bustle of the old firm match Oh, 
Well, Celtic reshuffling, but not, <laughs> not the way we expected at <laughs> well, the moment. I wonder if there's a, another shuffle to come here. I don't know if uh, Mark is maybe going to try and go back to a three at the back, Jack and McNamara playing in beside Sutton and, and Varga. Michael Gray set on the left back, left wing back here. Michael Ball's cross, Neil Lennon is there. And Chris Sutton to unload it. Great in at left back, Jackie McNamara right back, and Varga and Sutton between them. That means Didier Agat can get further forward and immediately threatening against Michael Ball. Good cut back, and Craig Moore was well placed. Arteta away from McNamara, and the ball given away. McNamara. Gets a second chance against Avalanza. No free kick. McNamara thought he was tripped by a ball. Mike McCarry waved away the claim. I'm not sure about this one, Rob. He certainly gets beyond that. No, referee Mike McCurry's right. Yeah, good decision. Michael Ball didn't move his feet. Another quiet Saturday lunchtime in Govan. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? What a comeback Michael Ball has made to the Rangers' top team, having missed so much football with serious injury. He looks to be getting back to his very best and might well be knocking on the door of an England recall before too much longer. Jackie McNamara's cross, awkward bouncing ball. Craig Moore was there. Now John Hartson. Try knocking him off the ball. Good work from Lovenkrantz. Avalanza. Moles. With his shadow, not far away. That's good Chris play from, Sorry, that's great play from Michael Moles. Didn't have anywhere to play the ball at all. No, he like, just held on to it long enough to make sure Rangers kept possession. We talk about uh, Michael Gray being brought into this fixture. How will he cope? Well, 400 odd games for Sunderland, an English international. He's got bags of experience. Hartson's flick. Berg is there. Kiznisvili. Larson robs him. Now Petrov. Miller. Great. Can't get beyond Kiznisvili. It's Lennon. Henningberg back to Stefan Kloss. Varga shouted to Lennon to leave it for him. Celtic trying to get back from an offside position. Well, we haven't seen too much of Henrik Larsson, although he did create that great chance early on for Alan Thompson. And when he goes quiet, that's when Rangers should worry. You're absolutely right, Rob. We've seen it earlier on. Craig Moore for lots of time and space. Larson proved different. It's Berg. Goes Petrov. Varga clears. But goes straight to Emerson. Avalanza tried to throw the pass back through for Emerson. Good stop from Varga. Magnus Hedman on the ball, playing his eighth match on the trot, keeping Rob Douglas away from the goalkeeper's jersey. Larson gets a foul, given against the Kiesnisvili challenge. It's always going to be difficult for Kiesnisvili to get at the ball there without getting at Larson first. I thought, I thought it was a tangle of two players, Rob, didn't see too much in it at all. Petrov's free kick. Craig Moore hitting shoulders above everyone else. Michael Gray. Petrov again. 
Berg heading away the great cross. That's a pure pass from Capuccio. Michael Moles is in a great position, but the sloppy one from Capuccio. Haven't seen too much of him. He's the one Rangers player that maybe hasn't contributed when he had the ball. Celtic beginning to grow. And then had to cope with a lot of early Rangers possession and passes. Avalanza with Capuccio and Moles and Lovenkrantz up ahead. Teta to Emerson. The on form Avaladze again. Capuccio with Gray right in behind him. The former Toto player, Capuccio. Zurich Iznishvili into Michael Moles. That's good defending from Stan Varga. That's good play from Big centre back. Kept his eye on the ball, watched the ball well and watched the player. beginning to exert some pressure and forcing Rangers into some mistakes. Let's hear from uh, Dr Young on the touchline. Y yeah, well, I've never, not a great prognosis in the first... Uh, you probably noticed the, the ice is under his uh, hamstring. <laughs> it's a, it won't be a calf injury he's got <laughs> then, but just taking a master pass on that one, it'll be fine. Remind me not to take medical advice from you. <laughs> Alan Thompson already out of this old firm match. Celtic already missing the influence of players like Mialbi and Vilhaven and Lambert and of course Bobo Baldi. I think one of the biggest losses from the Bobo Baldi angle, Rob, is set pieces for Celtic. It was such a threat in the opposition box. We've seen the last one get into the box there, Craig Moore won it easily. Wouldn't have been the same if Bobo Baldi was there. No Rickson, the Bruno Thompson for Rangers, but they've been going very well in the last few weeks without that trio. New players have settled in so quickly. Emerson and Berg were two stands at Stanets in Greece in midweek. Michael Gray with a head start on shot at Avaladze. Free kick given against Kisnish Vili. He's another who must be teetering towards a yellow card. Well, he's going to be careful. It's a silly challenge, Celtic really aren't going anywhere. Not too much in the challenge, to be fair. Just as really with his hands up, the Rangers fans in behind him, certainly not agreeing with the referee. Nearly 33 minutes gone of the old firm match at Ibrox. 0-0, but never dull. Avalanza, good chest control. And a useful pass for Lovenkrantz, but that's great defending from Didier Gatt. Saw the problem, and very quickly cut it out. Avalanza gets one over on McNamara. Capuccio, Arteta, and Berg. Ball is a loving pass. Ball continues the run forward. It's a poor ball in. An easy head on the way for Gray, but Rangers back onto it with Arteta and Capuccio. Did well to stretch out and reach that, but his cutback went beyond loving pass. Sneaked in at the back, Capuccio. Celtic almost caught out. Capuccio made a very, very good run there, Rob. You'll see, he has a great ball from Arteta. Capuccio staying onside, he can't quite reach it to get on target. So the next best thing is to knock it across the box and hope someone picks up a second ball. There was also their real quality on the delivery from Arteta, which picked out Capuccio. Sutton, one of many positions. Henry Larson. Knocks it down for Liam Miller, it's deflected off Michael Ball. Corner kick. Again, it's a threat from Celtic going forward. Larson and Hatson showing great body strength inside the Rangers box. 
Henrik Larsson, great composure to lay it back the way, just a deflection on the way through from the shot. Celtic's first corner, ten minutes from half-time, in from Petrov. And Rangers have the free kick. It's Chris Sutton's challenging Craig Muir. It's only Chris Sutton's third league game of the season, I think. Had to serve a five-match ban. Vargo won the header. Good play from Henning Berg, shutting down the opportunities for Henrik Larsson. I feel now, Robert, that as if Celtic have actually weathered the storm. Rangers still not, not playing with the same pace, the same movement as they showed earlier in the match. I think the changes actually might be helping a little bit. Griezmann find out on the left-hand side, and it's like a gap push on that a little bit to be more of a threat going forward. Michael Gray's cross, and the shout from Stefan Poss comes and takes it. So this weekend, the first Old Firm match of the season, Next weekend, Scotland against Lithuania. A vital 90 minutes as Scotland hoped to clinch a place in the playoffs. All the preview on Saturday lunchtime, the highlights on Saturday night. Full focus at the moment. And Rangers against Celtic. Mikel Arteta has a free kick, given against Miller's challenge. Great play again from Mikel Arteta. So strong in the ball now. Two young midfielders, Arteta 21, Miller 22. And at the moment, Arteta one boot down. Ball to Emerson. Avalanza threads the pass through to Ball. It's a good challenge from McNamara to Stuart Emerson. Rangers still with 10 on the pitch. There's Arteta. Gets his boots tied up. That's a free kick in Rangers' favour for a handball against Henrik Larsson. I think the Swede was looking for a free kick in his favour for a push in the back. Back on. Rolls the pass inside. McNamara for Robin Prince to chase. Free kick given against the Rangers winger. Peter Lovey Crunch trying to take Jackie McNamara for pace, but Jackie read the situation really well. Got a 10 yard start to make sure there wasn't a problem. But that would be a worry for Mark O'Neill. The guy's pace can certainly handle Loving Crunch. Jackie McNamara has been playing so well, hasn't he, for Celtic and Scotland. Sandy, he's handled just about everything recently. Yep. Well, he's got loads of experience and it showed in that challenge. Emerson looking to impose himself in that crucial section of the field area. Gets it back from Capuccio. Good play from Stanislav Varga. It's all about seeing the danger, reading the game, then cutting it out. Michael Gray, the first half substitutes. Gets away from Kisnes, really. And he doesn't get past Emerson. And Emerson wanted too much time on the ball. And it's not going to happen here. Celtic want to take the free kick quickly, but they'll have to try again. Petrov was fouled. Because of this belly was robbed, it uh, took him out of the game there. A little bit late, to say the least.
Petrov into the penalty box. Craig Moore takes charge. Tusha works it clear, but only as far as McNamara. That's well won by Peter Lovinkratz. Sometimes timing of tackles is not a strong point. That one was. But they can certainly get there very quick. That was an interesting race, Rob. Did he get against Lovinkratz? Over 100 yards. Varga. Moore. Remember to let us know what you think about the game, bbc.co.uk slash Sports Scotland. You can email us via that website or you can text us at 736 600 600. What do you think about the Old Firm match so far? Five minutes or so away from half-time. McNamara lofts it in and uh, Henningberg misjudged it and in the end to readjust to knock the ball behind. It's not the worst ball in the world, it's a sensible one from Jackie McNamara, can't play the ball anywhere else. And just the presence of Henrik Larsson causing problems inside the Rangers box here. Well, it would have been Alan Thompson to take the corner, he's off. Still in Petrov, delivery. John Hartson flung himself at it, failed to make contact. Chris Sutton plays it back in. Stillian Petrov at the back post, oh, slipped at the crucial moment. And Michael Ball was able to play it clear. That was a real chance for Celtic, and Petrov kept his feet. Varga, Petrov on side. Hartran shot, and Stefan Klaus makes the save. How often do we say that? That's an unbelievable save. I thought it was in the back of the net. Celtic, it's a Rangers free kick against Didi Yagat. The face of innocence, with the decision already taken, as we reflect on a chance at the other end, as Kloss saved from Hartson. It's a great ball from Petrov, and John Hartson does everything right, it's low, it's hard, it's right in the corner, it's through a, a group of players, but Kloss again somehow got there. Tremendous save. It could have been John Hartson's first goal of the season. It could have been number 50 for him for Celtic, but that wasn't allowing for the acrobatics of Stefan Kloss, great goalkeeper. Arteta's free kick, no marking on Peter Lovenkrantz, and it could have been the opening goal at the other end. Rangers are looking for a corner kick, there's a deflection of some kind, I'm not sure who it comes off, but it's a good free kick from Arteta, picks out Lovenkrantz, keeps it down well, and there's no question it should have been a corner kick. And what about the lack of marking there on Peter Lovenkrantz? He had time to pick his spot. We've just seen that at both ends of play Celtic and round the back in the left back position. Petrov having two opportunities. Hartson, fouled by Emerson. Thought he was fouled a moment ago by Henning Berg. That one wasn't given, but the one. By Emerson was. That would be a telling blow for either side to score at this stage of the first half. Into the box from Michael Gray. John Hartson to Henrik Larsson. Klaus punches clear. Emerson not one to panic. And gets it back from Kiznish, really. Great run from Peter Lovinkrantz, overrun it at the end, which allowed Chris Sutton to step in and clear. After a very menacing moment there, starring Peter Lovinkrantz. Great play from the day down the left-hand side. You think the touch of Rob is so quick, the least touch on him is going to go down, it could be a penalty kick. Just knocked it too far in front at the last minute.
90 seconds of the first half left. Henningberg on the ball. Magnamara cuts out the Berg pass. Onto it comes Arteta. Lovenkrantz right on the byline. That's terrific play from Petrov, but it's Arteta again. Crowded out by four Celtic players. Lennon back to Hedman. That's a poor clearance from Magnus Hedman. That flew straight at Avalanza. This match being played at a fatal pace. It's the first yellow card and it's for Zurakis in And he can't complain. No, he can't. It's persistent fouling. Incredible action at both ends of the field. This is it, yellow card. He doesn't really get the ball, takes the player out of the game. But as for persistent fouling, it's not his first. Took until the 45th minute for uh, Mike McCurry to produce a yellow card. He's held off as long as he could. To be fair, uh, Rob, the game's been playing a great spirit. Very competitive, but no nastiness at all. Sternberger fancies himself here for a, a crack at goal. Still has it, Varga. Finally robbed by Moles. Half time. And Ibrox, such as... Well, Celtic were forced into a first-half change when Alan Thompson went off. And Rangers start the second half, minus skipper Craig Moore. He's off, and Morris Ross is his replacement. Not, uh, not a new boy in terms of the old firm fixture, he's sampled it before. So... Ross for Moore at half-time for Rangers. Kieslich Billy, the only yellow card so far. Celtic as they finished the first half, which was minus Thompson. Michael Gray was his replacement. Celtic were always going to miss the influence of Alan Thompson when he went off. He's such a big player. But in some ways, Sandy, since he went off, Celtic have actually looked even stronger. Well, I think the, the substitutions actually helped Celtic in a, a silly way. The Jackie McNamara is very comfortable playing the right-hand side, and it's given Diddy a a lot more freedom to go forward. And the guy's quite happy working back as well to, to make sure he coats with the pace of Lovenkrantz. Celtic haven't lost the first Old Firm match of the season since Martin O'Neill took charge. 6-2, 2-0. And then last season, three all. All square so far as Hartson links with Larson. John Hartson scores! 18 seconds of the second half gone. His 50th Celtic goal. And it couldn't have come in more dramatic circumstances. It's a good build up from Celtic straight down the middle, but I'm not too sure if John Hartson needs this one. It takes a slight def deflection the way over, but he won't be too concerned. He comes off Kisnesville, I think it is. That's it. Stephen Claus going the wrong way. Just, yeah, help Kisnesville. Claus is caught going the wrong way. Can't do anything about that. And Hartson delighted the ball's in the back of the net. Claus foiled Thompson and Hartson himself in the first half, but he could do nothing about the deflection on the chip from Hartson off Kisnesville. Claus was going the other way. Couldn't readjust in time, and it clipped the underside of the crossbar on its way in. We're barely underway in the second half, and Celtic are ahead. John Hartson's first goal of the season. An injury interrupted. Restart, of course, for Hartson after back surgery in the summer. But his first goal of the season is number 50 for Celtic. 18 seconds was all it took in the second half for John Hartson to break the deadlock. A Rangers defence minus Craig Moore. Chick, what's the story? Yeah, I've just had a quick one with Craig Moore, and like Alan Thompson, it's a hamstring problem, which is going to take his place actually in the Rangers bench. He's clearly disappointed about the outcome of events, but a hamstring problem for him as well. And I tell you, Robert, Rangers have paid the price for that already, and they built up to that Hartson goal. Hartson. Managed to beat Kisnesville in the air. Larson picked up the second ball. Hartson got round the boot, Kisnesville and stuck it in the net. And John Hartson wasn't far away there from a long ball into the box. 
from Jackie McNamara. And, well, I wonder if something Martin O'Neill put in the tee at half-time or something he said, but uh, Celtic have come out very determined. They had the best chances of the first half. Hartson's effort saved by Koss. Alan Thompson might have scored as well before Celtic did break the deadlock. Link up between Larson and Hartson and the deflected chip from the Welsh international striker ending up behind Stefan Kloss. It was the fact that he managed to beat Kissing Villa in there without any real problem, Rob. Can't help but feel that Craig Moore is in there challenging Hartson. There's more of a challenge on it. The ball doesn't fall as Ken like Larson. The Rangers reshuffle at the back as Kisnes William Berg in central defence, Morris Ross at right back. And they had little opportunity to think about anything there as Celtic struck. That's a free kick. Petrov won Capuccio. No complaints. Celtic won here in the final Old Firm match of last season. They're ahead in the first run of this campaign. Goal scorer Hartson holds the ball for Liam Miller. Rangers look for a response. Levin Kratz on his way, but again, Celtic getting lots of bodies behind the ball. It worked for them well in the first half. Goal kick. Last touch off Larson. That's good play from Celtic Rob. Loving fans driving forward with the ball a few minutes ago. But so many Celtic players round about him and eventually the ball caught on that man Larson. Always willing to make runs, make angles to receive the pass up front, take the pressure off his defence. Abel Hudson. He's Miss Bailey, the two Georgians combined. Emerson. The challenge from Petrov to win it for Celtic. Larson, Hartson, and went Ross. Celtic still in possession. Liam Miller to John Hartson, offside. Good play from the Rangers defenders. Just holding the line. Hartson, no choice but to go forward, but two yards offside. Check with information on the touchline. Yeah, tactical switch coming up from Alec McLeish as well. Eagle Oshtenstein's going to be introduced in up front to give them a bit more bite. Not quite sure he's coming off at the moment, Rob, but you'll be the first to know. Morris Ross on the overlap. And that's great play from Stalin Petrov. Never hinted at giving that up. Great play from Morris Ross as well. Driving forward from the right-back position, but Petrov does his job well. Working back from the middle, block the cross. Capuccio is going to be the player to come off when Egil Oshtenstuck comes on. Mikel Arteta's corner. Here's a chance well, for Michael Moles on the overhead kick. It was well blocked. Henrik Larson hits the deck. The Rangers fans just a few feet away from him, not too impressed. This is a half chance for Michael Moles back to goal. Does the scissors kick really well? But a great block again. Did he a gap? I think it is. It manages to get there. Yep. Makes the block. Austin Stott getting some parting words of advice from his manager. And like Michael Gray, who's barely featured for Celtic. Thank you, Austin Stott. There's only 15 minutes of first team football so far with Rangers. That was in another BBC Live match at Tyne Castle. Came on late in that match, as uh, Teppi Moylanen remembers well. The former Blackburn and Southampton striker is on for Rangers. It's a free kick for Rangers, pull from him, Arson. But interesting, I think Shota and Valadz will play wing the right hand side draw. And Austin stand up front the same holes. First touch for Austin start. Stan Varga is sticking close. Not too surprised that Capuccio coming off from really hasn't made any contribution at all in the game. Lovely 
Alvin Crouch's run halted by McNamara. Jackie McNamara putting in another impressive shift for Celtic here. Kiznizvili's pass. Austin start the target man. Keeps it just about. Emerson's pass came off Miller. Now a gut. Gives it away. Rangers still trying to recover from that early second half strike from John Hartson. Kiznishvili, Michael Ball. Chris Sutton, dominating in central defence. Mikel Arteta has a big part to play for Rangers. If they're to get themselves back level. Well, it's a test of character for all the Rangers players now. I've got to stand up the crowd to get back to passing the ball. Berg's pass finds Austin start onside. It was a poor first touch. Chris Sutton let it go, but it's a corner kick. I tell you, Rob, that's a chance. Austin stands well onside. Chris Sutton thinks it's a goal kick rather than a corner kick. But he is onside. If you look along the line, can't really see it there, but in the right back position. He's okay, but that's a terrible first touch. Avalanza is away from Miller. That's a good effort on target. Neil Lennon was in front of Magnus Hedman to make the block. Sutton against Berg. Two former Blackburn players. Sutton furious at the award of the corner kick. But Celtic can be relieved about that because it was a big chance for Oshinstadt. Wasn't quite ready for it. That's Hartson. Larson on his own. Kiznisvili prods it to Avaladze. Emerson was standing waiting, Miller wasn't. Petrov obstructed by Kiznisvili, he's already been booked, and he's treading a dangerous path. He's got to be really careful. There's no doubt he takes Petrov out of the game here. I think the thing that maybe saves him, Rob, is the ball's gone four or five yards beyond Petrov. May not have picked the ball up. It's still a free kick. If he didn't have a yellow card against his name, I wonder if he would have got one there. That was a blatant obstruction. But still just the one booking in the match. Vargas free kick. Larson and Ball wrestling. Levin Crunch back to clear. He's such a difficult opponent. Uses his body so well. Just holds his ground, uses his body strength to turn players, turn defenders. Does not allow them a clear header. Mara and Miller. Long ball from Michael Ball. And Chris Sutton was all over Michael Balls. Not for the first time a free kick by Sutton on Balls. I think they were just checking addresses for Christmas cards there. <laughs> Come to a frenzy. Michael Gray's header dropped for Avladze. Austin Stat, the Norwegian international striker. Rangers throw. Emerson wants to be more influential in this match. He started it so well, but he has faded out. And he's been guilty in the second half of... Uh, Sleeping on the ball and being caught in possession. I think he tried to play a little one two there with Austin Stad. The first pass wasn't the best. Arteta against Miller. Asking a lot of Peter Lovenkrantz, but he's quick enough. Good defending, though, from McNamara. 
Yet again, very composed under pressure, the Scottish international played that off Lovenkrantz and won the goal kick. He simply didn't panic, Rob. Used all his experience there. He knew he was getting to the ball first and thought, I'll just hit it off the player and I'm sure we'll win a goal kick. He's played really well today again. John Hudson's last Celtic goal was here against Rangers. That was in April in the 2-1 win. And he has the only goal here so far. With the aid of a deflection of Zura Kiznishvili, lots of credit though to John Hartson for getting in when it hurts. And that number of 50 of his goals for Celtic. That's the difference in scoreline so far. Rangers 100% league record under threat. Lovenkrantz can't find the ball into the box. And it was an easy clearance for Chris Sutton. Sutton and Varga have done well, yep. looking very steady, very solid. Celtic are, uh, are pretty happy now, Rob, to sit with five at the back, three in the middle of the park and two up front. And they're now saying the Rangers, right, you try and beat us, try and get a, find a way through us. And just like that one there, the three solid in the middle of the park, protecting the back three. At the moment, Rangers lacking spark, lacking ingenuity in the midfield area to find ways of hurting Celtic. And so far, Magnus Hedman hasn't had a serious save to make. He's not had a save to make at all, Rob. The loving Kranz shot and past the post, but uh, Alan McLeish, I'm sure he's saying to his players now, especially in the midfield too, Emerson and Arteta, they started the game so well there. They were in control there, bossed the midfield area. But now, they're really not making telling passes, not too involved in the game. And they have to start playing again if Rangers are going to get back in the game. Peter Lovenkrantz at his best can certainly make a difference for Rangers. And the ball kept out by Liam Miller. And the free kick goes Celtic's way. Unlikely to be phased by the old firm pressure, Liam Miller looks to have a great attitude to the game, terrific ability as well. And he this season is really making his mark. And what a week he's had with the first goal against Lyon on Tuesday in the Champions League. And then his old firm baptism. Business really keeps very cool, despite the presence of Henrik Larsson. Alongside him, the vast experience of hitting Berg. The former Middlesbrough midfielder, Emerson. Mikel Arteta. Crunch turning in field, a combination of a gap and Miller was enough. Arteta's shot blocked by McNamara. Rangers huffing and puffing at the moment, but still looking to find a way in behind the Celtic defence. Boris Ross, the half-time interval change for Craig Moore. So no more for Rangers, no Thompson for Celtic. Two big old firm players off with hamstring injuries. It's Kiznishvili into Moles, Arveladze snatched at the shot. Seven goals in seven games for Shota Arveladze, he's hot, but he didn't catch this. It's a half-time shot, Michael Moles is playing it back to him. Catches it, but doesn't catch it too well at all. Easy one for the keeper. I think Rangers Robert trying to get loving fans into the game as much as possible. But as soon as he gets the ball, Dida gets close to him right away, and Jackie McNamara fills the space in behind to stop him going wide. But he causes problems, he gets a chance to use his pace. And Celtic more than happy at the moment, not just with the scoreline, but with the way this match is developing as well. They have the lead, and uh, they have the control of the game at the moment, and Rangers can't hurt them. Well, Celtic uh, are looking strong and confident, and they're certainly defending very well. Rangers have already introduced, of course, Ross and Austin start. One more change available to be made, and uh, the only outfield players left on the bench now are Christian Nerlinger and Stephen Hughes.
Ross to Malls. Neil Lennon making his presence felt around the midfield. With some biting challenges. Good positional sense as well. And here he is, Neil Lennon. With the help of a gap breaking up another Rangers attack. John Hartson launches it for the offside Larson. Neil Listen. Lennon crucial, isn't he, in these sort of situations? He is, Rob, but Didier Gad does really well. He gets the, he makes the challenge that you're right about Lennon. He just sits in front of the back players and picks up all the loose balls like that one there. Emerson, Austin starts. Control not good enough, and it was played off him by Chris Sutton. It's a Celtic throw. But I just wonder, are Celtic playing a bit too deep here, Sandy? Well, uh, they're very comfortable playing just in front of their 18-yard box, so they're quite happy to let Rangers have the ball. They've got five spread across the 18-yard box, and that's hard to break down. What it does is it denies space in behind for Moles, Austin Stad, Loving Crash to run into. So I think that's maybe deliberate from Martin O'Neill. And at this moment in time, it's working because, as we said before, the goalkeeper headman really has had nothing to do. Anderson won it, but couldn't keep it. Long ball from Sutton. Larson gets in front of Berg. Still has it, Henry Larson. And that wasn't too far away from Liam Miller, who darted into the penalty box. Great play again from Henry Larson. Doesn't get up. Henry Berg's trying to play football. He's trying to build an attack, but really takes a chance too much there. Larson on to that shot. But again, good awareness from Stefan Cross. Craig Moore took liberties in the first half against Larson. Henning Berg there, and uh, others have tried it, and others have regretted it. And Larson's cross there wasn't too far away from Liam Miller. And it was though that pair, of course, who combined to open the scoring against Lyon on Tuesday. 14 fouls apiece, but the vital statistic, Rangers nil, Celtic 1. Hartson the target, free kick against him. And leading back. Into Kisnes Vili. I don't think John Hartson agrees with this, but it's just for leaning back there. He's pushing into Kisnes Vili. That's great play from the striker's point of view, and I sometimes think uh, defenders get too much protection. I think in, in that occasion, I think it may, just may have been a free kick. You got away with a lot of that, I seem to recall. And those black and white pictures that I've seen of you playing. Those were the days. <laughs> The first old firm match of the season, live from BBC Scotland. Rangers, one goal down at home to Celtic. Both making a big impression on the European stage at the moment. And it will be a, an almighty tussle between these two as to who wins the title, just as it was last season. Free kick against Michael Gray. Knocked over Morris Ross, the two substitutes. This is a silly one for uh, Michael Gray to give away. He's no chance of getting the ball there. Morris Ross does well to protect the ball. Good first touch. You know, if you can't win the ball, just hold them up by time until you can get a chance to make a tackle. He's watched the old front match on television before Michael Gray. He's been here as well. This is his first experience of being out there on the pitch. Veteran defender Henning Berg with the free kick. Emerson waiting. Michael Moles as well. He was about to pull the trigger. And Didier Gat, not for the first time in this match, makes a very important interception. He had to get there, Gat. Otherwise, Michael Moles was, was ready to get the shot off. There was wrestling going on there involving Varga and Austin Starts. The decision goes Celtic's way, which is the Norwegian striker shaking his head. I think it was two big guys going for the ball again. Didn't see too much in it. We'll see here. They're both having a go at each other, aren't they? Celtic in control of the ball anyway. Both players with English Premiership experience. Ex of Sunderland and a brief spell with West Brom, Stan Varga. And, uh, and uh, Austin Stan, of course, who was with uh, Blackburn recently in Southampton, a bit further back. Hutchins flick. Liam Miller on the move. Kept out by Emerson. Good strong play from the Brazilian. 
That's good defending again from McNamara against Moles. Made sure that was his, the Celtic captain. And his sort of determination is an example to everyone round about. But Celtic today have shown a lot of spirit, a lot of good teamwork, high work rate. And it has them in front at the moment. Abeladze and Ross in combination. Emerson. Always losing the ball under his feet. And Chris Sutton not too bothered about where it went as long as it went. And that's all the way through to Kloss. He made those two important first half saves to keep the scoreline blank. And it didn't take long in the second half for the deadlock to be broken. If you've just joined us, the second half was only 18 seconds old when John Hartson made it 1-0 Celtic. John Hartson is such, uh, such an experienced player now, Rob. Hartson and Lashen up front. We're Celtic going into the ball with the Rangers backs. Players have it. They're the first line of defence, they make life difficult for them to build from the back. So I think we've shot Maloney on the bench and may decide to freshen things up in the next five or ten minutes. Martin O'Neill applauding the effort, the commitment of his players. They've done just about everything right so far. I don't think Martin O'Neill want to change too much at the moment, Rob. The only thing that will create a, a, a reason for a change has got to be tired legs. Whereas Alan McLeish, I'm sure he's thinking, how can I change it? How can I move things about a little bit? And McLeish, of course, with only one more substitution to make. Check what's he saying at the moment? Yeah, Alan McLeish just said a word about Avalade. I'm not quite sure what's going to unfold here, Rob, but he's certainly changed the role of Avalade. had a word with him. He's now having a little uh, chat with Andy Watson there about things. I'm definitely thinking about a tactical switch and it will involve Avaladze and I know Sandy will spot it within seconds. There you are. That's the pressure on. <laughs> Can, I tell, the clock I tell is you, ticking. I tell you, Rob, what, I, if I was big guy, like, I'd have a look at changing loving chance. Maybe play him through the middle, try and use his pace through there because Agat and, and McNamara are certainly snubbing him out at that side of the pitch. And the two strikers at the moment, Austin Stad and, and Michael Moles, just isn't working. And again, Rangers not finding the quality of delivery into the penalty box that's going to cause any problems for Celtic. Stenberger doing some sterling defensive work again there. He's been impressive. When you look at the fact that uh, Varga and Sutton well, haven't played together in that position before, apart from a little spell at Easter Road last week, they look as if they've played there for a long time together. John Hartson maybe typifies what Celtic are doing here at the moment. He's back there in a deep midfield position to work the ball away. And work is what Celtic do so well. Four letter word that features so much when you speak about the way they play. Emerson looking for a free kick and gets it. That's good play from the Brazilian. More joy than loving cans down that left hand side, drifting over there. Well, not big on a guy, it's a sandwich really between the two Celtic players. Played for the free kick and certainly won it. Yeah, Jackie McNamara held him back. And now a set piece chance for Rangers to get themselves back on level terms. Austin Stacked and Moles just outside the six yard box. Loving Kranz and Berg not far behind. Avaladze and Ross. Emerson just outside the area. Mikel Arteta plays it in, good header away from Stanislav Varga. Kiznesvili to ball. That's for Austin Stant. That's Varga. Larson tried to cushion a header for Liam Miller. Free kick against him. Well, climbing in the back of Kiznesvili, he was well up, Miller. <laughs> it was almost on his shoulders, that's why he was so high up. 49,825 inside Ibrox. As Mikel Arteta threatens 
Good work again from Didi Agat. So much effort from them and so many good challenges. I haven't seen too much of him going forward today, Rob, but the defensive part of his game has been excellent. Valenza to Henningberg. Well off target. Not a prolific scorer of goals, Berg. No, I think uh, if he's lucky here, Rob, he may get a deflection. Maybe the ball will fall to one of his teammates inside the box. But only really one thing on his mind. Not a lot of options for him. Must be frustrated with these forwards. Nearly 73 minutes gone. And Ibrox. Petrov's header. Larson lays it back to Hartson. Neil Lennon takes it away from him. Now Petrov. Turning away from ball. Good burst of pace from Petrov. It's spilled by Cross. Saved by Berg. As Larson tried to turn the ball into the Rangers' net. Great defender from Henningberg there. That could be a crucial moment in the match when we reflect on it afterwards. As Celtic were nearly two ahead, that they're not is down to Henningberg. Ross Emerson Michael Gray cut that out pretty comfortably Larson against Berg and Ross and Berg wins the challenge Norwegian to Norwegian Austin Stack against Sutton Chris Sutton takes charge Michael Gray forces it away. That's good referee there from Michael Curry. Let him go on with it, trying to win the ball. Rangers free kick given against Petrov. The foul was on Manus Ross. We'll have a look in a moment uh, at how Celtic were nearly two ahead, but that's after. This opportunity for Rangers to get some decent ammunition into the area. Michael Ball's delivery, hitting Berg there with a the header, but it was never going to hit the target. But he certainly was effective at the other end, Sandy. It's great play from Stalin Petro. Gets beyond Michael Ball. Plays a good ball at the box. Stefan Close has to come for it, but what about this from Henningberg? Larson surely would have stuck that away. Be quick in his feet. Does really well. Petrov does exceptionally well to start with. Tries to find Larson. But Bears going the opposite way, but reacts really well. Good change of feet to get there first. He may be approaching retirement, Henningberg, but he's not there yet, and there's still plenty of good football in him. And that was top class defending. Rangers supporters turning up the volume, looking to aid their team's search for an equaliser. Arteta's pass to Boris Ross, deflection. Uh, Michael Gray stops it going behind for the corner. Good play from Michael Gray. Rangers trying to lift the pace of the game now, trying to put pressure on the Celtic defenders. And it's great, adapting well. And only his second appearance for Celtic. His first was the closing stages at home to Motherwell. The Morris Ross throw. Austin start the target. Varga won it. Free kick against Berg. He's unlucky Henning Berg, but Henry Larson does this so well, just backs in enough to force the defender to push him out the road. Henningberg is finding out what playing against Henrik Larsson is all about. It's not easy. And at times it could be a nightmare. Larsson, who created uh, two goals against Lyon in midweek and scored his eighth of the season last weekend at Easter Road, the winner. That's Berg's header, beating Hartson. Ross plays it long. Sutton has it. That's terrific defending. Under pressure from both Moles and Austin Stat. 
Larson looking for Petrov. In goes Kiznishvili. It breaks to Henrik Larson. Petrov has the chance to make it two. Still has it, still in Petrov. As Klaus forced him out wide. The yeah, got shot blocked. Good goalkeeping from Stefan Klaus. As Stylian Petrov looked to have a, a gilt-edged opportunity there to put this match beyond Rangers. I tell you, Rob, it's good goalkeeping, but I tell you, Martin O'Neill will be raging with Stylian Petrov. He really should finish this from Celtic's point of view. Just hit it now. You've got a chance. Takes too long, Klaus stays on his feet, and eventually does really well. Yes, yeah, good goalkeeping from Klaus, but uh, it was really asking to be hit early by Petrov. And Celtic have passed up another chance to get two goals in front. It's going to happen, Rob, uh, because Rangers are obviously chasing the game now. They've got to push players forward. And Celtic are so good in the break with Henrik Henry Larson up there. Boris Ross tries to get beyond Michael Gray. The cross is on the wrong side of the net. Well, the best across from uh, Morris Ross. Tries to get his foot around the ball to keep it in play, but just too much on it. Not troubling the goalkeeper. This is the first of five Bank of Scotland Premier League games being played today. Uh, first of six, in fact. And you can see the rest, the goals from all the other games on sports scene results from around about half past four. But every Saturday, your first chance to see the Premier League action. So we'll take one up in the 12.30 kickoff, the first old firm match. Petrov to Leonard. Now McNamara. And a gap. Liam Miller was setting himself for the shot. As Arvaladza nipped the ball away from him. Powerful header from Chris Sutton. Hartson looked as if he was being pulled by Michael Ball. No complaints from John Hartson. Quite happy to, to make sure he gets the shot. Good header from Chris Sutton again. Look at the distance on it. I don't think there's too much in that there. Again, two guys going for the ball. I don't think there's any way that's an infringement. John Hartson not claiming for anything. And if he did manage to pull him out of the way, well done, Michael Ball. <laughs> goal still makes the difference it's 1-0 Celtic into the last 10 minutes Rangers Robin swapped Robin Kranz and Avalanti Robin Kranz now waiting the right hand side Michael Moles trying to play that through to Austin Stout Celtic have defended very well if they can do so for another 10 minutes or so the match is theirs Emerson, Eggie lost him, stuck. Emerson tries again, this time Moles the target. And Chris Sutton came barging through there to make sure that he could force that clear. Emerson again, Sutton again. Brave header from Chris Sutton. And Sutton and Varga are proving irresistible here for Celtic at the back. What a performance has been from Sutton. He's played exceptionally well, Rob. We want to hear, he's so brave. No thoughts about ducking out of this one. The boot's up there from Austin Stad, but he's more than happy to put his head down there where it hurts. And make sure he gets a clearance in. But apart from that, yeah, Chris has actually organised the back four today so well. He's dragging Varga around with him, making sure he's close to him, helping each other. He can play so well up front, he can play off the front, and as you can see from this. He is very comfortable playing in defence as well. An all-round top-class footballer, Chris Sutton. And he's playing a crucial part here for Celtic. And if Celtic can win at Ibrox, it will go top of the league. Swapping places with their biggest rivals. And even at this early stage of the season, it's a big psychological blow. If you can win an opposition territory, it's still a long way to go, Rob, as you know. But uh, you're absolutely right. If uh, we win this today, 
It's a big advantage to them. Five blue jerseys. Looking to find some daylight. Mikel Arteta fails to get it beyond Neil Lennon. It needs a better quality of ball in than that. If Rangers are to salvage something from this. I think Robert Taker's trying to put pace in the ball, but we've got too many big, big guys to hit. And when it's floated in like that, it's food and drink for Sutton and Varga. Isn't this really his pass? Michael Gray watched it, hoping it might go behind. It has gone behind now, it's a corner kick. Mikel Arteta to deliver. First there, guess who, Chris Sutton. Zurich Isnishvili. Wins a free kick. Good play there from Zurich Kishinishvili. Easy for you to say. Another opportunity gone for Rangers. It's just the final ball in the second half from Rangers though. No real penetration, but I think you give Celtic credit for that as well. As we said before, five across the back, leaving no gaps whatsoever to get in behind them. It's been so hard to play in front of them. Wasn't taken from the right position there, the throw in. Not sure what a couple of yards means, <laughs> but uh, Mike McCurry wants his way. I thought that was the same place. <laughs> Poor pass from Zurich Isnishvili. Takes the pressure off Celtic. Larson's so good at keeping possession, even when he's on his own. What he does all, he takes the pressure off his defenders. His players know as soon as you get the ball to last, he's going to hold on to it, he's going to win you a free kick, a throw in, just as he did there. And that lets him go up the field and reorganise. Such a strong outlet for Celtic when they're in this winning position. And all the time the clock is ticking. And it's ticking for Rangers. 85 minutes played. Here's Chick. Yeah, there's no doubt Martin O'Neill now would be happy to sit in for this. He's telling uh, Gat just to sit back a little bit. I think Celtic are just going to weather the storm for the last five minutes. They'll be very happy, obviously, if Rangers get score and they're just going to keep what they've got. to Moles. Miller had it and lost it. Avalanche. Teta to Berg. In for Austin starts, won the header. But it wasn't a great problem for Chris Sutton. Kiznishvili. Varga won the header, but an offside flag was up. That takes the heat off. Rangers now Robert all good route one. Anytime they get the ball, it's a high ball through the middle. They really got it to play. Russell stands a decent size, but I think Varga and Sutton can handle him okay. It doesn't look as if that policy is going to pay off for Rangers, no, does it? it doesn't. There's not a lot of options, though, Rob. They have to try and get the ball in the box, and for the hoping for us to maybe pick up a second ball, get a deflection. Three and a half minutes of regulation time remaining. Still, John Hartson's goal separates these two. Hartson forcing his way through. Michael Ball. Avalanza beaten by the combination of Larson and Agat. Ranger has given the throw. Berg to Moles. Sutton's cleaving header. 
Petrov gets the better of Arteta. Rangers in a hurry. Seven wins out of seven in the league up till this. Rangers now trying to salvage a point. It's disappointing for Morris Ross, twice again with that type of play. And you can hear the sounds of frustration from the Rangers supporters. They are frustrated, Rob, and uh, that was a chance for Morris Ross. He had no excuse for not getting that ball in the box. Austin Stein actually took up a very good position in front of Varga. Morris Ross couldn't find him, couldn't beat the first man. Berg's header. Chris Sutton plays it away. There's John Hartson. Good play from Petrov. It came off Lovencrutz. Kept in by Berg. Short tugging going on. And the decision goes against Edgar Lost in Stocks. One of the match, Andy. Well, I tell you, Rob, there's been a few uh, contenders today. Rangers started really well, Arteta, Emerson, but the second half, Celtic really have been immense. They've defended so well. Up front, Henry Lass has been different class, but that man there, Chris Sutton, he is a striker, but he's went back and played centre back today as if he's played uh, his whole career. And he's been exceptional. He's my back, he's got the man in the back. Inside the 90th minute at Ibrox. Two to be added. So just adding them up, yep, that's three minutes to go. <laughs> well, the arithmetic never fails me. Heading Berg into the box again for Michael Ball. That came off the head of Varga and onto the top of the net. Magnus Hedman had come off his line and Stan Varga wasn't sure where that was heading. Hedman doesn't have a clue where this is going wrong and now it's Stanislav Varga. They certainly got to break that time. It's a high ball in the middle. Rangers challenging again, just knocking it in there, hope they pick up something. Loving Kranz with the first header and Varga just over the bar. Nearly 90 minutes played, Arteta plays it in. Chris Sutton heads it clear and... Chris Sutton doesn't want any mistakes to be made in these closing stages with Celtic so close to a big win. Michael Bowles long throw, out comes Magnus Hedman, that's an important take in among the blue shirts. It's a great catch up, I tell you what, Martin O'Neill won't be too happy with them. I can't believe the goalkeeper kicked at his early. And Martin O'Neill puts a a finger to his temple and he's absolutely raging with Magnus Hedman for handing possession back to Rangers there and for launching that so quickly it wasn't clever Boris Ross with a chance to put it into the penalty box can't get it there Stylian Petrov blocked it Kiznisvili shot deflected and Chris Sutton calmly plays the ball out to Henrik Larsson, who will now take the ball for a run and invite Rangers to come and get it. One minute added, one to go. What can Rangers do about this? They're running out of time. They are. Uh, I'll tell you what, Rob has been a first-class performance Celtic second half. The goal has given them an enormous lift. The time of the goal start in the second half, and Rangers since then have been chasing the game, probing, working, trying to get down the flanks through in the middle. The Celtic have defended exceptionally well. And it's gone Celtic's way, the free kick decision, which causes fury among the home support. I said both players went down very, very easily there. And it's interesting to make a, a decision with Celtic's weight. It's interesting to look at the faces of the two managers at this stage. Martin O'Neill cannot wait for that final whistle to blow. He knows how important this result might prove to be. Alan McLeish in the background there, arms folded. A look of resignation on his face. The Celtic fans ready for a party.
It's almost over at Ibrox. Already Mike McCallie's had a look at his watch. Celtic have won the first Old Firm match of the season by a goal to nil. Celtic go top of the league. John Hartson's goal proves decisive. His first of the season, his 50th for Celtic, and it came just 18 seconds into the second half. And you can see in the reaction of the manager and the players how much this means. It's been a tough week for both Celtic and Rangers in the Champions League. It's Celtic who...